basketball pantheon video i am adam johnson um we are going over some more of our 21 nba champions tournament today uh i'm in the quarterfinals this is the 87 lakers against the 83 sixers 83 sixers are pretty much a completely created team um oh it's fell. um I created Moses Malone, Dr. J just moved him over from the 77 team. It's, yeah, almost an like every player on the court right now is pretty much created except whenever Dr. J comes back in, he'll be, I used uh, Spencer Dinwiddie as Mo Cheeks. But anyway, this is the quarterfinals. Um, 87 Lakers are on the game. I just had to kind of tidy up their roster just a little bit. And this is best of three series, as you guys have seen so far uh, with the other ones that we've kind of put out, other videos we've put out. Uh, all the other series are over. This is the last one. This will kind of determine the last uh, semifinal spot. It's a nice little ball movement there. Byron Scott, bang. It's a two foot on the line. So I'm um, kind of salting this game away. It looks like I should take it. Obviously, I'm 12. Uh, we do four-minute quarters because, you know, I try to have a little bit of a life when playing these games. <laughs> Five and six it just saves a little bit of time, but it still feels like a real game. Um, I have fatigue on, so that's why I, I think it's more fun to put fatigue on and use the bench, especially when I went through the de the details of getting all these benches right and kind of nailing all of these, uh, like, you know, even down to guys who aren't even on the game. Um, yeah, I really wanted to nail them, so I wanted to be able to use the bench. But anyway, I'll show you guys kind of how the other rounds of the playoffs have shaken out. I think the last video we did was at the conclusion of the first round, so um, we'll kind of show you the conclusion of the second rounds. There you go, Kareem. 12-point game, 2.46 to go. Sitting pretty here. Oh, man, Michael Cooper is the man. I love playing with Michael Cooper. He pretty much automatically guards the point guard uh, once he checks into the game. It's just like a setting for this team. And uh, just wreaks havoc. He pressures him full court. He's probably a little tired now. I don't know. Look at his energy, actually. Yeah, might be time to get James Worthy back in there. Let's get AC back in for Rambus. Um... Yeah, it's, it, he's a monster, and he's a really good three-point shooter. He's 86 overall, which might be slightly overrated, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, he's awesome on-ball defender, just wreaks havoc on that end. and He generates – I'll play as the big sometimes and kind of hang back on pick and rolls, and um, he'll generate steals just like the computer player. We'll just get steals and dunks the other way. Plus, you got to love the double arm band. Give me that. There's a the block. Um, finished watching the – uh, three part 30 for 30 on the Lakers and Celtics earlier this afternoon uh, really enjoyed it get in there yes um, yeah really enjoyed it and I mean I didn't really learn anything it was just cool to see those highlights again and kind of the they really got everybody to talk uh, that were main kind of characters from those times whether it be you know even down to Bill Russell and players from the 60s uh, all the way up to you know lots of magic lots of bird I mean it was pretty cool how many people they got to actually talk about the those times and um obviously they go heavy on the 80s series so that's you know that's probably the ones people remember the most i was i was kind of disappointed with how little they talked about the 2008 2010 series so really they just gave them like a little bit at the end uh, but i like the dual oh uh, you see you're not gonna win that race uh i like the kind of dual nature of like the, the narrating kind of it showed kind of the two sides of the story um with uh get in there james there you go. With Donnie Wahlberg and Ice Cube narrating. So you obviously had Wahlberg for the Boston side and Ice Cube for the Lakers side. And I thought that was cool. And I kind of like went, you know, bounced back and forth, kind of showing different points of view. Uh, I definitely enjoyed that. Um, and just the sheer amount of highlights they got and just reliving those games, particularly like in 87, the the game four, and like the detail they go to for some of those and like how honest a lot of the guys were about – uh, different elements, like things that happened, you know, Pat Riley saying, thank the Lord that there wasn't the review, you know, on that out of bounds play before Magic got his little junior sky hook, but uh, really enjoyed it. And it kind of, you know, ignited my you know, passion to play with these teams again. But I was going to maybe do a little Chick Hearn impersonation if I ever got a fast break in this game while I'm kind of recording for you guys, but I don't think it's going to happen. Looks like it's kind of a slow game, uh, mostly walk it up possessions. But if I get a chance here, I'll do it. But, but yeah, I, it lo I loved how much Chick Hearn and Johnny Most we got. Uh, kind of you know ripped from like the radio calls from back in the day, uh, back when like those guys were really almost like celebrities of their own it was the, you know the radio guys for teams because that was still a huge way of people you know listening to the game how they how they took in the NBA but um, yeah I really enjoyed it so if you guys get a chance watch that it's all streaming on ESPN app now um, really cool stuff.
All right, we got 47 seconds here. I'm just kind of going to salt this game away. Oh, they got Franklin Edwards in. Backup point guard. I'm just going to go straight. Oh, come on, Magic. Right back to him. Go down to the post. Here comes the double. Where is it coming from? Never mind. I'll just go jump hook. There it is. Magic is just, like, unfair in the post in some of these smaller guards. Cheeks is such a good defensive player, or I made him such a good defensive player because he was in real life, um, that he's hard to post and hard to, like, he fights through screens really well. But basically, the second they go to their backup point guard, Franklin Edwards, I put him in the post immediately. Uh, my brother and I played the first game of the series together, which is kind of hard to do on 2K. Uh, we play FIFA together a lot, and I find that a little more enjoyable than playing 2K together. But, um, oh, who's blocking him out? But yeah, so we tried to play this game together, and we lost by, I think, four. So I played game two, and it's pretty tight, but I ended up winning. And then here's game three. So you see it. The Lakers, the 87 Lakers, are going to move on to the semifinals of this tournament. Don't you Remember, this is not east and west. This is just straight semifinals because uh, we did the top 15 teams to advance. So I'll show you guys the bracket once we get through with this. There's big Kareem at the layup. See the game stats real quick. Michael Cooper, there he is, four for six from three. What a game! Actually, didn't have a steal in this game. Very rare. Cream with eleven. Magic four for four, three boards, five assists. It's a great little Magic Johnson stat line there. All right, the eighty-three Sixers are done. So obviously, I just use the current seventy-sixers because there is no classic. Well, there's a seventy-seven team, but I wanted the these red jerseys, so I put them on the current seventy-sixers. All right, so there is the semifinals. It is the 96 Bulls and the 01 Lakers, and this is the 87 Lakers, and this is the 2015 Warriors. It's not the current Warriors. Um, I started this project a long time ago, so obviously had I started it now, the 17 Warriors would absolutely be in this tournament and you know pretty, be a pretty high seed. So 96 Bulls took two games over the 13 Heat. Uh, pretty good games, especially game one was really tight. I think I only won by two uh, with the 96 Bulls. And uh, other one, I, I you know, Got off the, as you can see there, first and second quarter just kind of dominated and was, had a huge lead going in the second half and just made it pretty easy. But um, Tony Kukoc was lights out in that game. 0-1 Lakers took both games over the 71 Bucks, uh, both kind of high-scoring games, so that was fun. Um, Derek Fisher, one of my least favorite players in NBA history. Um, and I'm a pretty – I don't really – dislike very many players ever so <laughs> Derek Fisher is high on that list uh Kobe and Shaq obviously you know phenomenal games John McLaughlin hurt me in the uh, first game but not, not as much in the second one Kareem did very little four for nine from the field um over here so I actually played I really wanted this to be 96 Bulls 0-1 Lakers and then 87 Lakers versus 86 Celtics I played both games with the Celtics and lost I just could not play Clay Thompson killed me in both games um, he had Danny Ainge on him, and I just couldn't really. I, and I could have like switched up the matchups a little bit, but then I had what I had Bird kind of chasing Clay Thompson around on a bunch of screens. Uh, Steph went nuts in game two, did not do as much in game one, but yeah, Clay Thompson just killed me in both games. DJ played well, Kevin McHale. It's just so hard to enter the ball into the post. That's the thing I think people miss when they're you know and these are obviously played under modern rules and kind of styles. I mean, because it's a you know it's maybe a two K seventeen. I know as much as they try and they do a really good job, two K does of getting. Um, the old school teams like playbooks like down to a T like exactly how they run but that means a lot of those, those sets are run inside the three-point line so it's just it's just kind of hard to keep up when you have like an old school team playing with a modern team who uses the three-point line so much which is why you know the kind of modern style of basketball what I know some people like they'd rather see guys just close line each other and like oh it's not as physical for whatever reason people seem to lament that it's not anymore um, it's just a more effective style of play what we have now is uh, with the three-point line and just the amount of space that we have to work with, you know, the guys I have to work with now. Um, and the lack of hand-checking, hand which, you know, I think is overblown, but still it, it does open up the perimeter a little bit. So, um, yeah, as you can see there, just the fourth quarter, I just got torched. I mean, 21 points in a quarter. This is four minutes. I mean, it just, they just couldn't miss. Uh, it was kind of a classic Warriors run. I actually, you know, it was like, I was down two going into the fourth, but... Yeah, it was, I mean, a fun series, a really fun games to play. The first one was was really tight. I mean, I think I only lost by three, uh, and had definitely had chances, but they're they're hard to score on. I mean, just the '86 Celtics' lack of athleticism against a team like the Warriors, especially when they go small, is just tough. I mean, because it forces you to take out either Parrish or McHale, and I would usually leave McHale in because he can at least score on the other end. But uh, but even that, you know, trying to back down Draymond is tough. So. Um, yeah, disappointed that I lost those two games, but, you know, not that weird that, you know, we have a Warriors team here. It's just not maybe the Warriors team people would expect. So um, that'll be the semifinals. 
I will play some of those games and maybe make a video out of uh, the games if, if they're close. Um, probably I'll probably try to stream those when I play. I'll, I, I got to remember to get on you know the stream more often, even if I'm not making a video out of it. But hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this has been a fun project, and we will finish it out for sure. Obviously, before 2K18 comes out, and then we'll get to some of the games from our uh, which I've started, but I have not made any videos for yet. Our all-time, our franchise all-time teams, which obviously I have all those videos on our site, Basketball Pantheon on YouTube. Um, where we created the rosters and you guys can see what the rosters were, but I've actually started to play some of the games. And so I got to make some videos of those too, because it looks awesome. So, um, check back for more at some point on both this project and our all time uh, franchise teams. So, uh, thanks for watching and hope you guys come back.